How are you today? Good. Good. All right. You ready to read some more of Aesop's fables? Today we're going to read one of my favorites. This is called The Ant and the Grasshopper. The Ant and the Grasshopper. While lounging on a floating lily, a carefree grasshopper puffed on a tiny harmonica. After playing a jaunty tune, he hollered to a colony of bustling ants as they filed by. Fellas, fellas, slow down. You're working way too hard. Each ant toiled with a grain he carried from a nearby field to an underground storage room. Come on, guys, it's a beautiful summer afternoon. Take the load off. Come dangle your busy little tootsies in the pool. Or better yet, grab a partner and sashay on over. I'm just getting warmed up. Besides, all your marching is messing up my rhythm. One serious little ant stepped out of line. We are gathering food for winter, sir. And if you don't mind a little friendly advice, I suggest you do the same. And without another word, he balanced a kernel of corn on his head and shuffled back to the procession. The grasshopper scoffed. The sun is warm, the water cool, my belly is full. I think I'll take a little nap. You boys have a nice day. He sipped his drink and sang himself to sleep. A few months later, the starving grasshopper trudged through deep snow to the ant hill and begged for a morsel of food. He recognized the ant that spoke to him by the pool. Mr. Grasshopper, I can see you've changed your tune. A fool who sings away the summer dances a hungry jig in the winter. The moral of this story is it is best to finish your chores before you play. It's a very good, uh, very good story. So it's always better to get in, get your work done, finish all your chores, and then you can play and have fun. It's the best way. All right, let's read another story. All right. Now this fable is called The Wolf and the Crane. Crane was fishing in the marsh when a sickly looking wolf stumbled over. The crane noticed right away the wolf wasn't well. He had a runny nose and sticky strings of saliva hung from droopy, droopy jowls. Before the bird could back away, she was recovering from a cold herself and didn't want to catch the wolf's illness, the wolf sputtered, gagged, sniffed, gurgled, gulped, and hacked up a hoarse, rasping, frock spraying cough. The disgusted crane dipped her head in the water, washing the wolf spittle from her feathers. Well, I never. Do you mind? I'm sorry you are sick, but you are infecting the entire forest with your germs. Didn't your mother teach you to cover your mouth? You don't understand, rattled the wolf. I'm not ill. I have a bone stuck in my throat. I came over to ask if you would kindly remove it. The wolf gagged and hacked again, spitting on the ground. It stands to reason, I suppose, that an ill-mannered animal such as yourself would not chew his food properly, said the indignant crane. Perhaps that bone should remain lodged in your gullet as a painful reminder not to wolf down your supper. Oh, have pity, pleaded the wolf. I can offer you a reward. In that case, said the crane, let's have a look. Say, ah. The crane's tweezer-like beak was perfectly suited for the task. In no time, she plucked the sharp bone from the wolf's throat. Without a word of thanks, the wolf turned and loped away. Hey, what about my reward? Cried, called the crane. The wolf spun and sprinted back to the startled crane. He sneered and clicked his razor-sharp teeth. You placed your head in a wolf's mouth and lived to tell about it. What more could you ask for? Now fly, fly away, Miss Birdie, or I will eat you for dessert. Then he leaned close and whispered, I promise to chew every bite 40 times. Ooh. Those who
who expect thanks from rascals are often disappointed. Let's see here. So, the bird helped the wolf, and she, the bird thought, oh, he's going to say thank you, or he's going to uh, reward me. But the wolf was a rascal. He was a bad wolf. He didn't have any manners. He was rude. Uh, so when you meet a rude person and you expect them to say thank you for helping no. a rascal, um, you will be disappointed. So the wolf didn't say thank you. Uh, he was The bird was lucky the wolf didn't eat him. So people who aren't raised right and don't have good manners, don't expect them to be grateful. All right, there is another one of Aesop's tales. So, yeah, we should always, the crane, we should always be helpful and try to help people, but sometimes when we help people, they might not have good manners and they might say, not say thank you, but we should still try to be helpful if we can. All right, well, that's uh, all for today. We'll read some more stories tomorrow. I hope that you're having a good day. Bye.